Hey guys, this is Daniel from CNC Labs. We've talked in the past about the alt mill kind of being limited by its spindle capacity or spindle power rather. Originally with the launch of the alt mill and kind of continuing to ship out the alt mill, we're shipping this out with a 1.5 kilowatt spindle, which is this guy over here. So this is an 80 millimeter body and it uses an ER16 size collet and it's got 1.5 kilowatts of power obviously. And this is mostly because your standard wall outlet in at least North America is 110 volts and you won't be able to pull out more than 1.5 kilowatts of power safely at least. So we've always just kind of stuck with this and frankly it's more than adequate for like pretty much anyone using a machine. Obviously we've kind of wondered what could be with the alt mill if it had a bit more power. So we wanted to go ahead and kind of test um, some more powerful spindles. So you can see on the machine here we have this giant just ridiculously large spindle. This is 4.5 kilowatts of cutting power. And this is hooked up to our shop's um, 240 volt power as well. We were surprised to find that we were actually able to use almost all of the power of this 4.5 kilowatt unit. So hypothetically, you know, we might, need, we might even want to look into like a six kilowatt or seven kilowatt if we really felt like it, but it's kind of getting to the point of like insanity where you don't need any of this. This is just like, this is kind of a little, ridiculous too but we also kind of figured you know if we're willing to like offer a product that's 240 volts why would we kind of stop with 2.2 kilowatts if people wanted more power than a 1.5 kilowatt unit so you know we've been exploring other options so this here is like a better middle ground this one is a 3.5 kilowatt unit this is a, a good happy medium between all three spindles it's kind of like a goldilocks sort of size and uh, we've yet to fully test the power of this guy but we'd expect it to be much more suitable to kind of what a lot of people are actually going to practically practically be cutting with this machine. So thanks for coming by to, I guess, watch some of our behind the scenes testing, check out some of our spindle stuff. Um, like I've mentioned, obviously a more powerful spindle like this isn't for everyone. It's really impractical if you're not really pushing already your machine to kind of stall out your 1.5 kilowatt or even a 2.2 kilowatt spindle. But yeah, let us know if you have any, I guess, ideas, feedback, um, if you're interested in this or not, I guess in the comments or uh, yeah, if there's anything else you think we should be kind of looking into or testing in the background. Thanks for coming by, guys.